Remember, remember, the goals of November. It's VAR, treason, and plot. I know of no reason why the VAR treason shall ever be forgot. The only verdict is vitiation, a vendetta, held as a votive, not in vain, for the value and veracity of such shall one day villainize the valueless and vile state of VAR. Oh! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Bruise and Banter, where we unravel the tapestry of football's finest moments with a dash of rebellion and a pint in hand. I'm your host, Redbeard, the voice in the shadows, and joining me in this footballing revolution is the indomitable Targo. Together, we guide you through our very own football revolution in the form of our power rankings. So grab your favorite brew. Settle into the shadows and let the banter commence. Remember, remember the goals of November. What up, dude? How's it going? Happy, uh, Guy Fox Day. What else did we have? We had uh, Stranger Things Day. Oh, is that has that happened? Uh, yeah, November sixth, and then uh, whatever the hell you want to call Match Week Eleven in the Premier League. Nuts, man! Absolute, absolute nuts. nuts. Chaos. Slight frustration, maybe a lot of frustration. Oh, <laughs> we'll man. get into it. Yeah, but what are you going to be indulging in? while you're drinking through this hard-to-process Match Week 11. I am drinking Icicle Brewing Company. They're a tasty one there out of Leavenworth. Yes, Magic they are. Magic Meadow Hazy Double IPA. Ooh, your turn for the it's, double. It's my turn. It's an 8% beer. They have this nice description, which I'm not going to read because it just has a bunch of hops I can't pronounce. But let's give it a try. I'm pretty sure I've had this. I don't know. It's been a (laughs) while. That is a very smooth double IPA. Two in a row, huh? That is a smooth one. Game a little bit. Well, today I went for fifteen and a half percent. Well, I don't even know if it's beer. It's called Maple Goodness. It's a bourbon barrel aged barley wine with vanilla and maple syrup from Lumber Beard Brewing. And God, do I love that can. It is cool looking. That is a cool can, but you got to let the listeners, viewers know how much did that beer cost you? Because I was there when you bought it. $14. And you told me. I was like, what? Yeah. Wasn't very happy, but you know what? It'll be worth it. It's 15.5%, so that way it's going to help me digest all of this stuff. So, fun fact, I got this beer on sale for $2. Well, I would rather, at this point, probably rather have uh, (laughs) seven of those than this one. But let us know how it is. Would you buy this $14 beer again? If I was trying to get absolutely hammered, yeah, because it is very smooth. It's kind of syrupy up front, which you'd expect from 15 and a half percent. But at the end, at the end, man, it's like having like, I guess, syrup on an Eggo waffle. It is absolutely fantastic. So in honor of Stranger Things Day, Eggo waffles in a glass. (laughs) Eggo waffles in a glass. (laughs) Interesting. Oh, I'll let you drink that one. Eight and a half out of ten. But it's going to be a while before I drink it again. Eight and a half. I guess I would I would probably say the same. Eight and a half. Good, yeah, solid it's beer. Good. It's good. I'm going to be feeling it, though. This will be fun. <laughs> well, that makes for some excellent banter. <laughs> but let's jump into it, man. All right, man. That brings us to our power rankings. We've seen some fantastic teams in the Premier League. In La Liga, Serie A, Bundesliga. I know we kind of go off of not only the record, and we're going off the month of October. 
So we have to look at the month of October, but then we also play a little bit into account of, okay, if these two teams were to play, who would win? A little bit, yeah. So, Targo, who's your number 10? Well, give us some honorable mentions, because I don't have any. So, Okay, I'll do a couple honorable mentions. I got uh, Barcelona as an honorable mention. They didn't have the best October. You know, they had a big win against Porto, but they drew, Gran- they drew Granada, lost to El Clasico and to Real Madrid. I also have Girona, who's first in La Liga, but no real, you know, notable wins. Also Nice, who are top in Liga. They did have a notable win against Marseille. And so this is where I'm struggling, man. My number 10. I think my number 10, I got to give it to PSG. Okay. So I'll give my honorable mention to Borussia Dortmund. It was tough. It's like, what's worse, two draws or one loss? Depends on who the loss is against. It's to Newcastle. And it wasn't a close loss either. It was a blowout. No, but what if you draw Milan and Frankfurt? I would say that's two points better. It's technically not, though, because you dropped four. So that's why I'm giving it number 10 to PSG. Their only loss was to Newcastle, but then they also spanked Milan. Milan, yeah, they did. So if, if you go by that, I will say, getting spanked by Newcastle and then spanking Milan, whereas... Dortmund beat Newcastle and drew Milan. But not in October. I understand that. But for the sake of the argument, that part, I will agree with you. Well, I'm just going to give you my top 10. How about that? Go for it. So my number 10 is PSG. My number 9 is Arsenal. They had three wins, one draw, and one loss. It's... Honestly, the only reason they're probably in my top 10 is because they beat Manchester City and they beat Sevilla in the Champions League. But then they lost to Longs. And then they drew Chelsea. And the way they're playing, well, they are not, they're not as free-flowing as last season. But they do have a little bit more steel about them, I guess, this season, I will say. Mm-hmm. It's really that loss to Longs. They you just don't rate them highly, apparently. Not right now, no. (laughs) Okay. My number eight is Inter Milan. We have four wins and one draw. Notable wins against Roma and Benfica. The one draw was against Bologna. And they currently sit top of Serie A. So that's where I had a hard time. Like I, I was thinking, if Arsenal and Inter Milan were to play against each other... I think Arsenal would win. I think they would win, but that's not for sure. <laughs> yeah, I think it would be close. Opinion. And a personal opinion, not necessarily fact. Hopefully it we'll is. find out in the knockout stages of the Champions League. There you go. Number seven, I have Atletico Madrid, who have four wins Ooh. and one draw. They have big wins against Real Sociedad. They beat Feyenoord. And their one draw was to Celtic in the Champions League. And I know this was the previous month in September, but they beat Real Madrid. That yeah, that was in September. I think we had so that my on number, September power rankings. Yeah. No, my number six is Bayer Leverkusen. They have five one five wins, no draws, no losses. Their most notable wins were against Wolfsburg and Freiburg. It's just I think the reason I can't put them higher is because I think the rest of the teams above them would beat them in a game if they were to play. I think that's the only reason I have them down that low, because as far as record go, they have the best. My number five is Liverpool with four wins and one draw. That draw was to Brighton. But one would argue that they haven't beat anyone of note of those Four wins. I, I would agree to that, yeah. I, I could see that. But, let me see, who, who'd they play? I mean, the notable wins for me are Union saint Joas and Everton. 
But it's the way they're also playing, man. I'm, I'm, oh, enjoying... I'm, not, I'm not denying that at all. I'm just going with the argument of what you've made for the teams prior. I also think Liverpool would beat all the teams below them. You think they would beat Arsenal? I do. Okay. Number four, I have Tottenham. Three wins. And they drew Arsenal and beat, in quotes, beat Liverpool. But they've also been playing real good, man. <laughs> I think in I, this... I won't deny that, but I mean, their, their actual wins are Luton, Fulham, and Crystal Palace. But it's the way they're playing. And like I said, they, they drew Arsenal. The way they played against Liverpool, honestly, if they probably would have kept their players on the field against Chelsea, I think they would have beat them. It's the way they're playing, man. I think they would beat them. Moving up to my number three, it is Bayern Munich. Five wins, big wins against Galatasaray in the Champions League, 8 0 thrashing of Darmstadt. And the Bavarian Giants, man, they're, they're scary with Harry Kane in that attack now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they are scary. My number two, I might get some shit. Man City. Why would you get some shit? Four you're wins, one to, loss. You're apparently number what? Eight, nine team? Number nine? They did. So they shouldn't be number one if you're ranking Arsenal that low. Because they're they not lost my number one. They're my number two. I know. They lost, but why would they you, lost to I'm, Arsenal. I'm saying, why would you get shit for it? Because if I'm being honest, they are the best team in the world. When they're on their game, but in October, they lost three games in a row. They did. It's because they didn't have Rodri. I'm just hearing excuses. They didn't lose three games they in have, a row. They they did in all no, competitions. They, didn't. they no, lost. They didn't. Yeah. Man City. Yes. Wolves, in October, they lost. They beat the... Man United. They beat Young Boys. They beat Brighton. They lost to Arsenal. They beat Leipzig. That's October. They lost to Wolves. That was in September. It was three games in a row. Let, you keep going. No, it me. wasn't. I'm looking at their you... schedule right now. It was not three games in a row. Okay, you go ahead. Are you talking about the loss to Newcastle and the EFL Cup? Yeah. Yeah. That was also in September. All and then they lost to Wolves. And then they beat Leipzig. Okay. Sorry. So they, they did lost not lose three, three games in a row. Four. Three out of four. I stand corrected. But you are right. And th the two losses prior were in September. Albeit. The so they're my September. number two. Because you also have to look, man. They beat Man United. They beat Leipzig. They beat Brighton. With 10 so... men. Who at Brighton had okay. 10 men? City. City had 10 men. At the end. Oh, yeah. So my number just... one. <sighs> Go ahead. Is Real Madrid. Four wins, one draw. Big wins against Napoli in the Champions League. And they won El Clasico. Their one draw was to Sevilla. Away from home. And honestly, I, Real Madrid and Man City were to play. That would be a tasty affair. I don't so think what are your Real issues? Madrid you sounded like you had something to say. What is it? I have quite a few issues, but I was going to wait until I said mine, because you're going to have quite a few issues with mine, too. Okay, well, give me yours, then. Yeah. Um, number 10, Atletico Madrid. Four wins, one, one draw, zero losses. Beat Sociedad and Feyenoord. Drew Celtic, but Celtic have been haphazard in the Champions League this season. They have been. They're third in La Liga, currently. Well... And the, at the time of me doing these power rankings, they were third in La Liga. They are now fourth in La Liga, yes. in case you're wondering. But number nine. Number nine, Barcelona. Yes, they won or lost against Real Madrid. It was a stoppage time winner. That match they dominated. They were unlucky 
and it took moments of pure brilliance from one player to beat them. They drew Granada. They drew Granada in probably the worst officiated game I've ever seen in my entire life. Other than that, they beat Porto and Shakhtar. Otherwise, they'd be higher on my list. Top of the champion, their Champions League group. They were at the time fourth in La Liga. I believe they're third now. They are third. Number eight, same as you. Inter Milan. Top of Serie A. Beat Roma and Benfica. Drew Bologna, who, by the way, have won 10 games in a row since then. We agreed on one. Yes, (laughs) one. Because the rest of it, well, I guess number three might be the same. I think that's it. Number seven, Tottenham Hotspur. Yes, they've been playing fantastic. But they haven't played anyone great of note or like besides the team, like Arsenal, when they played Arsenal. Arsenal shot themselves in the foot and did not play well in that match. I hate hearing this excuse for Tottenham haven't played anyone tough when they've played Man United, Arsenal, and Liverpool. Well, my argument here is Man that's United three is of the, not that's tough. three of you the keep, big six you teams. Keep making that's three, this argument. That's three of Manchester. the big six teams. You keep making this argument for Manchester United. They suck. They suck. Do not argue for Manchester United. Liverpool and Arsenal go for it. Do not make an argument for Man United because every team on this list has beat them this season. In the Premier League. They have been playing great. Yes, they drew Arsenal. They did not deserve to beat Liverpool. That was wholly a VAR decision. Maybe we mark it up as a draw. Whatever. But other than those two games, they haven't played a team besides Chelsea, which is November, in the top 10. In you Luton. say Crystal Palace? Where is, where at are they the time, at? they were not in the top 10, if I'm not mistaken. But. No, they're not the top 10 anyway. They're in 11. <laughs> All right, number six, Liverpool. They so beat, we just switched you, ours. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Which is why I didn't really have a, a big problem. The only problem I had was that you're arguing that they beat Manchester United. They did. Comfortably. I, I understand that. But that's also did not Arsenal a big... beat them comfortably? Yes. No. It's a three last to one. minute winner. Three to one. From Declan Rice. It was three to one. Anyways. Manchester United sucked this season. Their record shows it. They're barely beating teams at the bottom of the table. That is the only argument I will make against saying that teams beat Manchester United as a notable team. Number five, this is where it's going to start getting, you're going to get heated and start yelling at me. So Manchester City, number five. Yeah, you're fucking nuts. Well, you have, I'm going with you have, October. You have, you have four teams above Man City that you think would beat them in a match. Well, my number four beat them in a match. So, in October. This is based on they lost October. To? They lost to Lens and they drew yeah. Chelsea? Again. You have Man City as number five. I do. They beat Brighton and Leipzig, yes, but they lost to Arsenal. And because Arsenal beat them, I put Arsenal above them for the month of October. It will be completely different for the month of November. (laughs) But because Arsenal beat them, they are above them by one spot in number four. And quite honestly, if I could have put them as tied, I probably would have. But why do you put teams as tied in power rankings? That's dumb. So, yeah, Arsenal number four beat City and Sevilla away, which is the biggest one. They lost a lot away, but, I mean, that was a second string team for Arsenal. And they put in a real shit performance at Sanford Bridge. Yeah, they did. And I'm not going to deny that fact at all. Half of that was goalkeeping error. So, and you know my feelings about David Raya. Number three, Bayern Munich. 
undefeated, scored 20 goals, conceded five in the month of October. I mean, pretty close to perfect, but not quite, as they had two draws. But I, I still can't believe they played nine games in October compared to the rest of these teams. Seven wins, two draws. The rest of these teams have played like five games. I mean, they played nine. Are you sure about that? Pretty sure. Bundesliga. Give me a second. Let's see. In all they competitions, beat... sorry. All One, competitions. two, three, four, five. Five games. Really? Okay. Yep. Well, I counted differently. That's my bet. They beat they beat Darmstadt, Galatasaray, Mainz, Freiburg, Copenhagen. United? Or was that September? That was September. Okay. Well, I might have counted some September games, but anyways. I just want to laugh They're out perfect. loud. They're perfect. Perfect in yeah, October. I, I, I want to laugh out loud at the fact that on November 1st, they lost to Sabruchen in the DFP Porkal. So... They did. Yeah. Third tier German too. <laughs> yep. Number two, Real Madrid. Beat Barca in El Clasico. That alone will get them into the top five. Do you have fucking Bayer Leverkusen as your number one? I do. Bayer Leverkusen, no. baby. Yes. They have oh yet to God. lose in all competitions this season. 19 goals scored, six against in October. 6-0, and oh, man. They're 8-1-0 and nil in the Bundesliga overall as the time of me writing this. 3-0 and oh in the Europa League. In all competitions, 38 goals scored, 10 conceded. Bayer Leverkusen are on fire. And most of this is because of the way they're playing, not because I think the teams below them would may or may not beat them. I would love to see these games. Watching Who did they them beat? Play. That was notable. I didn't write that down, and it ran out of room on my paper. So, I guess I could look it up. Here, I'll tell you. In October, they beat Freiburg. Uh-huh. They beat Quarbag in the Europa League. Uh-huh. They beat Wolfsburg. They beat Cologne. They beat Mold. I think that's how you pronounce that in the Europa yeah. League. And that's it. Cool. I love the way they're playing. They're fantastic. Javi Alonso is doing a wonderful job. And I'll be honest with you, until I see them lose, because I watched them play Bayern Munich in a game they probably should have won, was not in the month of October, unfortunately. But it is their only draw of the season. They've won every game other than that. I will be excited to see them play, I think, Borussia Dortmund. Because yeah, I think they like, beat Leipzig already this season. Yeah, yeah. I think it was the game before I, for, they played Bayern Munich. But. For me, it's... I can't put them first, man. I, I agree. Xavi Alonso's got them playing fantastic. They look great. But you think they would beat Real Madrid? The way that Real Madrid's defense plays, it's possible. I'm not saying they would. I'm saying it's possible. Mm, I do not Bayern like your number one. <laughs> Bayern Munich couldn't beat them. Quite honestly, yeah, they probably could beat Arsenal, Manchester they City. Be, they couldn't. They wouldn't beat Man City. Get the fuck out of here, Bayern Leverkusen. I didn't say they Man would. City. I said you gave me a maybe, like they would. No, get out. I doubt if they played Bayern Munich right now, they would beat them. The way that offense is humming for them. Well, we'll see. What do you guys think? Let us know in the comments. Am I batshit crazy yet again? Yes. Yes, you are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, make sure you guys let us know on our Instagram, Facebook group. Don't forget to follow our TikTok. YouTube, Maybe like, Chris subscribe. <clears throat> Might just be his beer. Hit the notification bell. Make sure to check out our Red, Bull, Red Bubble account. Get the merch. All your favorite bruise and banter gear. I'm Targo. This is Red Crazy Redbeard with his power ranking picks, but we love you guys. Thank you so much. As always, cheers. Cheers. <laughs>